Hey everybody, welcome back. This is Matthew Boyle from LanguageCardGames.com, where we believe if you can play cards, you can learn languages. And in today's video, we're taking a look at a way that you can play a game with other people who also use the Lightner Box. It's called the Lightner Race. Now, if you're not familiar with the Lightner Box, it's a spaced repetition system for memorization with flashcards. And if you want to learn how to make a Lightner Box and use a Lightner Box, this is not the video for that. But I'll put a link into this video so you can go and learn how to do that first, and then you can come back to this one. <coughs> we have the most videos about the Lightner Box and optimizing how you use a Lightner Box on YouTube. So I want to welcome you to like and subscribe so you can watch all of our videos about this most amazing and interesting system. The Lightner Race is a novel gaming idea that I have come up with, so if you use this idea and share it around, which I welcome you to do, I only hope that you give credit where credit is due, let people know of my name, Matthew Boyle, let them know of my work, and send some of them back to me so they can learn more. Okay, so let's jump into this. Let's uh, go ahead and assume that you and your friends both have the Lightner box, and you both have your flashcards prepared. You haven't started to use the box yet, all right? Because you're gonna start with an empty box, and you're both gonna use, first of all, the same calendar. There's many different types of calendars people use for the Lightner box uh, system, so just make sure you're using the same one. The second thing is you're going to add the same number of cards every day. And the third thing is you're going to start on the same day and end on the same day. So these are three key rules that you're going to follow before we even get started. Use the same calendar, add the same number of cards every day, and start at the same day and end on the same day. Maybe you want to choose a time frame, say two weeks or one month or two months. It depends on what you're doing. And uh, really, you're just going to add one simple feature to gamify this, and that is kind of a points system. So all the cards that you have in level one will be worth one point each. All the cards that you have in level two will be worth two points each. All the cards that you have in level three will be worth three points each, and so on and so forth. So when you get to the end of the time frame that you've established, when you get to the end of your last day, both of the, all of the people involved can tally up their points by taking out the flashcards in each file and adding up the points they're worth and then totaling the points values in, in all the files. So let's say I did a really, really, really horrible job and I just had 10 flashcards in the second file and 10 flashcards in the third file. Well, that would be a total of 50 points, right? Because every flashcard in file two is worth two points and I've got 10, so that's 20. Every flashcard in file three is worth three points, and I've got 10 there, so that's 30. So I would have a total of 50 points. So can you see how that works? You're gonna assign, every file is gonna be worth, each card in each file is gonna be worth a certain amount of points. And whoever has the most points wins. So basically, whoever can get more cards migrated to, or graduated to a higher level, Whoever has the better memory and has moved more cards up, those cards are going to be worth more points. Now, if you really want to get competitive about it, you might have to study in the same time, in the same place, and make sure that people, for example, you might want to control the amount of time they can take when they're looking at a card and testing a card, because if someone takes a lot of time to remember what's on the other side, that might not exactly be fair. So, or, or maybe you want to say you can take as long, as much time as you want to try to remember what's on the other side of the card. So these types of considerations are going to come up to you as, as you play this, uh, as you play this game, as you play this system. So I hope you enjoy this. I hope you found value in this idea today. And if you have any questions about how to lighten a race, 
you can put them in the comment section down below. Thanks so much for watching, and I'll see you back here next time at Language Card Games. Bye for now.